Hey guys, it's Jeffs here from AC Tutorials, and in today's video, we're going to take a look at how we can schedule our AC2 instance to automatically switch off. In the previous video, we had a look at how we could access our VPC enabled Elasticsearch domain, and to do that, we had to spin up a EC2 instance. In today's video, we're going to be using a cron expression to schedule the uh, time that the instance switches off. I find that this is probably the most easiest way to do it especially if it's within a VPC. So to get started, we're going to go ahead and go to our EC2 instance. Go to instances, and then just select whatever instance you want to schedule to switch off. So I'm just going to go ahead and launch my terminal. Let me just switch over to my .ssh folder. Oh, .ssh. And if I just do ssh minus i, when I want to specify my PEM key, the one for my instance, and then the username, so easy to user at, then the IP address, which is three nine three two one three one. If we just connect to that, it should connect. So now, what we're going to want to do is switch to uh, the root. So sudo minus s. Now that we're in root, if we just run cron tab minus e, and this is where we enter our expression. So the expression I'm gonna enter is basically gonna tell the instance to shut down every minute. I'm gonna do it for every minute as this is just a tutorial, but obviously you guys should use the actual time that you want to switch off. So if you wanted to switch off, I don't know, every 1 a.m., then make sure you set that time. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this. And then as you can see, it's installing the new cron tab. So if you just wait a few minutes or a minute, it should start to switch off by itself. As you can see now, guys, the instance is starting to switch off. So if we just go back to our instance, you can see here it's stopping. So there you go. That's pretty much it, to be honest. If we, if you guys need help with your cron expression, uh, there's a pretty good site that I usually use, and it's called crontabgenerator.org. I'll leave a link in the uh, description. But all you pretty much need to do is choose what, when, what time you want the the cron expression to run. So if you wanted it to run every five minutes, every thirty minutes, or if you just wanted it to run every six hours, or a specific time, 1 a.m. Then you would choose obviously every day or which days you want, and then every month, week, and then obviously the command that you want to execute for the shutdown of the instance. This is the command that I used. I will probably add this command in the description of the video as well, so don't worry about that. And then you just click generate. Then it will come back and tell you what you the cron tab the cron job that you need to add to your instance. So if you just copy that and then add that for your expression, then you're good to go. Now, if your instance has been launched via CloudFormation, then the cron job that we set up will get deleted because if you're spinning up new instances from a CloudFormation, then that AMI for that instance won't exactly have the um, current expression but I've got a way to actually get around that which I'll do in another video it's pretty much gonna involve cloud formation and creating images but we'll go into more details in the next video and again guys if you did like the video then please do leave a like and a please do subscribe I will be making other videos on how on other ways that we could schedule the instance to shut off which will include lambda functions, uh, another cloud formation templates. But uh, yeah, see you next time, guys.